What is up guys and welcome back to the video and in this one we are going to be discussing advanced deposit and partial payment for WooCommerce. Now this is an amazing WordPress plugin if you are working with WooCommerce. So without wasting further time let's get started. Now before using the plugin itself let me mention that it is important that you have WooCommerce plugin already activated. So let's just quickly start off by simply installing the plugin and to do so what you have to do is to head over plugins and add new. After that you will be able to see this search field on the top right side of your screen. Just click it and type in advanced deposit and partial payment for WooCommerce. And you can see in the very first line we have our plugin and also install now button in front of it. Simply click it and you can see the installing process already started. Just wait for a few seconds. So after installation you can see an activate button just popped up. You can just click it to activate the plugin. You can see we are directed towards our plugins list and here you can see the advanced deposit and partial payment for WooCommerce is activated and good to go. And here you will be able to see two options. First of all is this partial order and second one is settings. So using the partial order you will be able to see the list of all the partial orders. We will discuss about that later on. And the second one is settings. What you can simply do is just head over to partial payment and click on settings and this will take you directly to the partial and deposit tab in WooCommerce and you can adjust the settings as per your liking and do whatsoever changes you would like to do. Okay, so now let's just discuss about some of the other features that we get by activating this plugin. So first of all, you can see this WooCommerce tab and after that you can see this products tab and these are really great and below them are also some important tabs which we are going to discuss later on. So first of all when you head over to WooCommerce and settings you can see the partial and deposit tab is appearing over here. These are some free features of our plugin. You can see partial deposit settings and under that some language options. Now using this feature you can translate a particular field to your required language. It might be varying country to country that what language you want to type in but it's a good option for example is saying to pay deposit you can change it whatsoever you would like to be saying pretty awesome feature right and below them you can also see some other features for example label for text full payment payment total deposit and so on and so forth now after that if we head over to the products tab and go to all products and select your product which I've created earlier which we are going to be learning about more in future now under the product data and in the deposit tab you you can see you have enable deposit feature. First of all to use this feature you have to check on this box which says enable deposit features for these products and after that you have deposit type. So using this feature you can select the type of deposit your customers will be doing. For example right now in the free version of the plugin you have two main functions given here. First one is the percentage of amount and the second one is the fixed amount. Okay so let's just activate the pro version of the plugin and discuss all the features that you'll be getting after activation of the pro version of the plugin and to do that you simply have to head over to plugins and then to add new. From here on the top left side of your screen you will be able to see this upload plugin button and when you click it you can see a choose file option just pops up. You can choose the file from your local storage and just click on this open button and when you do that the install now option will be now available. Simply click on that and the activate plugin button just pops up. Click on activate plugin and you are good to go. Now you will be able to see most of the features that are available due to activation of the advanced partial deposit payment for WooCommerce Pro. Like for example if I head over to the products again you can see in the deposit deposit tab some more options are available in here for example the minimum amount and after that you have a payment plan to use this feature what you have to do is this is also a pro feature first you have to create a plan and to do so you can see this payment plan option right underneath the products tab just click on payment plan and from here you can create a payment plan. First of all you can see the name field and here you can type in the name of your payment plan. So you can type in whatsoever you would like to call your payment plan. For example I can call my payment plan as weekly payment and after that you can see a down payment and immediate payment percent amount. Here you can adjust the amount which needs to be paid immediately while making a purchase. So I can set it on like 60% and after 
after that you can see this new plan schedule button when you click on it you can see some more fields just popping up the first one is payment amount percentage and the date offer which means the amount to be paid after the days so i can type in 25 percent after seven days now if you head back to the deposit tab you can see when you select payment plan you have this weekly payment which we created is just popping up and now our weekly payment plan is activated successfully for our products so let's just head over to the front end page and see how our deposit feature is looking so when we head over to the front end page here you can see for our product our weekly plan is activated so when we click on add to cart and head over to the cart section you can see this is saying the deposit type as weekly payment pretty awesome right okay so now let's just head back to the wordpress dashboard and and try other deposit features first of all we had percentage of amount so let's just add here 20 and when you update it and head over to your front end page you can see the deposit amount is two dollar which is 20 percent of ten dollars because we selected percentage of amount and selected 20 percent okay so now let's just change it to fixed amount and now the value you'll be providing is the only value our customer had to pay and get their product so you can see the pay deposit ten dollar only is visible on our front end page and when we select add to cart you can see here the deposit type is saying the $10 is fixed and our users can get their product only by paying $10 which is the total amount okay so lastly we have the minimum amount feature when you select this you can enter the minimum amount that our customers have to pay to get their product and the remaining amount will be paid as a partial payment so let's just type in here 2 and our actual amount was 10 so the minimum amount will be $2 so let's just head over to our front end page and see how is it looking so here you can see see the pay deposit is saying two dollars when we add it to cart you can see the deposit is two dollars and the due payment is eight dollars okay so now when a customer places his or her orders they can track it simply by going to my account and from there you can see this orders tab when you click on it you can see the list of orders that you've already made and the type of payment features you have selected for that particular item also you have this view button using which you can see all the details regarding your order for example your payment history your billing address amount of due which needs to be paid okay now let's discuss about some other features that we get in partial payment tab after activation of the pro version of the plugin these features should be seen under partial payment tab which is this payment plan when you click it you will be directed toward a payment plan creation section where you will be able to create a payment plan we just created a weekly payment and similarly you can create another payment plan like for example monthly payment and you can also set the down payment and you can set the schedule and once you've done you can just add new payment plan and it will be added in the list this is added in the partial payment section so you can easily access it and create new payment plans the third one comes the reminder log in here you will be able to see the order date deposit type and the orders due and also you have options of this view reminders log and using this you will be able to see the date of next reminder for this particular order and you also have this option to send the reminder immediately when you click it you can see it says the reminder email has sent so this could be pretty great and you also have some more exciting features after activation of the pro version of the plugin and for that you have to head over to the woocommerce and settings and from here to the partial and deposit settings again now when you activate the pro version of the plugin you can see some extra settings just pop up in here for example allow zero price checkout if you check this you will be able to allow your customers to make the checkout without paying a single penny and after that you can see allow custom amount payment in checkout page now check this feature if you want to allow and give your users the flexibility to make an order with a custom price of their choice pretty awesome right after that you can see the allow custom amount payment in the payment due amount page if you check this feature you will be allowing your users to make an order with zero price on the due amount page particularly and after that you can see the stock reduced on and a drop down menu 
Now in the drop down menu you have two particular options for example the partial payment and the full payment which means you can select when exactly you want your stock to be reduced either after full payment or partial payment. Now allow the payment method for the partial payment. Here you can currently see only cash and delivery but if you scroll to the top and head over to the payments tab here you can see some options to enable different kinds of payment method. You have WooCommerce payment, direct bank transfer or check payment or cash and delivery which I enabled in my case. So you can select any of your choice. The next comes the allow users role for partial payment and from this section you can select who will be able to manage the partial payment system. You have many options administrator, editor or any contributor if you have grant access to multiple personnel. After that comes enable second payment reminder after x days and using these features you will be able to deliver push notifications to your customers to make their payments and clear up their dues and you can just customize them you can select the number of days before the next payment that you can see the days before the payment plan reminder and the reminder content here you can add whatever content you would like to deliver to your customers for example i could type in please pay your dues and whatsoever you would like so yeah guys that was pretty much it for the advanced payment and deposit partial payment for woocommerce and i really hope you learned something new in this video and if you did so make sure to like share and subscribe and until next time peace